weapons here. But I'd like you to take a look at the drugs. Police and prosecutors show off 20 kilos of cocaine, 40 pounds of pot, and simple weapons. All evidence, they say, of the biggest drug conspiracy in Lansing history. It's an investigation that's been in the works now for six years. And tonight, more than two dozen people are behind bars in connection with that drug operation. Our Angela Cunningham has been following this story literally all day long. Joins us now live in studio with more details. Angela. Well, Dave, police say they stumbled onto that drug ring when this man, Alex Humphrey of Lansing, was murdered back in 2002. They say Humphrey was the head of the organization. Now, authorities say they knew Humphrey was a drug dealer before his death, but did not know how big his organization was until after his murder. It has taken six years, but police believe they've tracked down major players in his drug operation. And federal prosecutors have now convicted 28 people in connection with this drug ring. A lot of it's patience. Um, it, you know, it's difficult to, to for something to take this long, um, but you got to be tenacious. You got to be patient, and you've got to really make sure you, you know, basically turn over every rock. The bulk of the people that we have prosecuted and convicted were drug customers of Mr. Humphrey. However, some of uh, those individuals were his closer associates, and also people involved in the transportation of these drugs. Federal prosecutors say several people involved in this drug ring were sentenced to up to 20 years in prison. And right now, police are still working to find out who murdered Alexander Humphrey. Dave? All right, Angela. So how did this drug operation work? How was Alexander Humphrey able to pump thousands of dollars of drugs onto the streets of Lansing? And Emmerich gives us some insight into his operation. This is Alexander Humphrey. Authorities say he was the kingpin at the center of a major drug operation. They say he brought hundreds of thousands of dollars of drugs into Lansing. So how did he do it? The point of entry was here in Lansing's Old Town. Authorities say semi-trucks full of drugs pulled into this parking lot outside this building. It used to be a restaurant owned by family members of Cynthia Valdez Shank. She's one of those indicted and was also Humphrey's girlfriend. No one would question semi-trucks making a delivery here. Humphreys met the trucks here and unloaded the drugs. And he brought them here to this two-bedroom home just two miles away. It was here on Comfort Street where Humphrey ran his drug operation. Authorities say large amounts of marijuana, cocaine, and crack were stored and sold to dealers here, but it all ended when Humphrey was murdered. He was gunned down as he stood at his front door. When investigators searched the home, they found nearly $40,000 in cash, several guns, and large amounts of drugs. In Lansing, Ann Emmerich. Six news. Lansing police say the breakup of Humphrey's drug operation made a huge impact on the amount of drugs on city streets. But six years later, investigators are still trying to solve Humphrey's murder. So if you have any information that can lead them to his killer, call the Lansing police at 517-272-7483, the FBI 517-336-8367, or Crime Stoppers 517-483-STOP. Lansing police have charged a Lansing man with the first homicide of the